I'm going to tie a foam bodied stimulator. The stimulator pattern was devised by Randall Kaufman originally to imitate the adult stonefly, but it's become very popular as an all round attractive dry fly pattern that can represent all kinds of potential trout food. The fly is traditionally tied with a body of yellow floss or dubbing, but the variant I'm going to build today has a foam body, simply as a way of adding some additional buoyancy. Now stimulators are generally tied on long curved hooks like the TMC200R. I'm going to use an equivalent which is this Daiichi model 1270 and I'm using a size 8. I'll just straighten that a bit in the vise. And the thread I have is Danville's Waxed Flymaster in 6 hot, and this one is uh, hot orange. I think it's actually called fire orange. I'm going to start my thread about a third of the way along the shank and then just build a base that I'll take back as far as um, about as far as where the barb would have been. Let's clip that off. The wing and the tail are going to be bleached elk hair which I've chosen uh, just because it's easier to see at a distance. I'm cutting off a small bunch, about a third of the diameter of a pencil, and uh, I'm going to comb that out so I get rid of all the fluff and the underfur. This isn't a particularly good batch of elk hair, there are quite a lot of broken tips in it. And that's going to go into my hair stacker tips first. Get that little stack. And now I'll remove the hair by the tips. And uh, I realize I need to advance my thread to the front of the body before I tie in the tail. I'm going to measure the tail so that it, uh, it extends the length of the body and it's going to protrude not very much further than the back of the hook bend. And I'm going to just put a loose turn in and then put a few turns actually into the ends of the hair. Then I'm winding back fairly loosely just holding the bunch along the top of the hook. And the aim is to keep from compressing it too much because, you know, I want to add a bit of bulk and buoyancy. So not too tight at the back or you'll make the hair flare out too much. Now I'm going to tie in a rib. I'm going to use this extra small gold wire. And cut off a length of that. And I'm going to just attach that with three or four turns of thread. I'm going to leave the front of it about as long as the body. And I'll clip that out of the way. So the abdomen is going to be formed from two millimeter fly foam in, uh, in the yellow color that it comes in. And I've used a paper cutter to cut strips off this. And I'm going to pick one which is about two millimeters wide, so essentially a, a square cross section. And I'm going to shape the last quarter of an inch or so into a point, my scissors. And then I'll tie in the foam by that point with it facing forward. And I'm going to tie it in pretty tightly. But again, not so tight as to flare out my tail. Now I'll advance my thread back towards the eye. And I'll just trim the end of that wire as I go. So I want my thread there at the front of the abdomen. Now I'm going to take my foam and make a complete turn and then wind it forward in, in basically touching turns but I'm not pulling on this so tightly 
that I would compress the little air cells in there. I want this to be still a foam. Pretty easy to do. And when I've arrived here at the front of the abdomen, I'm going to just tie it off. Really pull down on it pretty hard. Put some turns in front. I'm going to try and trim that off as closely as I can. There's just a little bit left there that I'm going to neaten up with a few more turns of thread. And that's the abdomen done. And next I'll add some body hackle. I've got some fiery brown saddle. and I've already selected a feather that has fibers that are about the length of the hood gap. Like that. So I'm going to offer this stem up to the shank on my side and tie it down. And then snip away the surplus stem. I'm going to attach my hackle plier. so and make a complete turn right at the front of the body and now I'm going to palmer that feather back in four or five um, spirals nice open spirals And then I'll trap the end of that feather with my wire. That's it. And then um, counterwind the wire forward, trying not to trap the hackle fibers as I go. If you're pretty bold with this step, it, it usually works okay. You you can uh, trap a few fibers. Then when I've got to the front, I'll tie off the wire. And then just helicopter it off until it snaps. at this point I can go in and just cut away the tip of that feather. Now I need some more elk hair to make the wing and I'm going to take about uh, twice as much as the tail. I'm going to comb that out thoroughly. of all the, the rubbish and give that a stack I want, I want the wing to reach not quite to the tip of the tail, about like that. So I'll cut that to, to length. I'll make a loose pinch lat wrap, one or two. And then gradually going to bind it down tighter. 
not worry too much about straight ends at this point uh, stray ends at this point I'm wrapping it backwards towards the, uh, the junction with the body okay doesn't look too bad I'm going to select a grizzly hackle and I want this to be a little bit longer in the fiber length than I had the brown one and I'm going to tie it in on my side get rid of that one and then wind back down towards the eye okay I'm just looking at this there are several fibers and things that I'm just going to get rid of at this point Okay. So to make my thorax, I've got a hot orange eye stub. Anything similar to that will work. And I'm going to apply it from the eye backwards. So I'm just going to make a little sausage of that. and just wrap it on just tightening it up every now and again all the way up to that yellow body I'll just put a drop more on that bit let's tighten that okay that'll do now grabbing hold of that grizzly hackle I'm gonna make four turns and I keep them straight up and down and I'll track that with my thread crossing over and then pull everything back and just wind back on it just a bit I'll trim off that uh, extra bit of hackle and I'll use a few more turns to make a nice neat little head and then in with my whip finish tool that 
I'm going to come in with some head cement and I'm just not going to worry about getting it in the eye at this stage just coat the whole head area of the fly and I've got a spare feather here and I'm going to use that to clean out the eye and, uh, and there's the stimulator thank you for watching and uh, I do hope you enjoyed the video